welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Today, what we have here is we have ourselves a 1969 El Camino. And it needs some new rubbers around the windows. Like, as you see, the vents just, it's dicked. They're bad. Big time. I'm going to attempt to change these out. Because that's what I do. First thing you want to do is you want to pull out this brittle rubber. Now, if I were you, I should have mentioned that. We should have ordered new channels, too. But... It is what it is. So we gotta try to get these out here without trashing them because we're gonna have to reuse them. So just go nice and easy and gentle and it should be fine, if you know what I mean. So just give them a nice little tug. There they go, look at that. Hey, just sliding right out of there, Jim. Not too bad for how old, Captain. There we go. So that's out. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go up here and there's two rivets. Well, actually, this one's got two non-rivets. This is an original, this one. So we'll want to try to drill these out because we got to get this off. So the best thing to do is just slowly drill them. Make sure you have a good drill bit, not like mine. Here's one. Next. Can you see? Probably not. Get in here. I have a gander. Now, it'd probably be a good idea to use a punch tool, too, to maybe start a center hole on these, but there we should be able to kind of knock that off now. Not quite. Let me go get a little bit bigger drill bit. Okay, I'm back. And I got myself a little bit bigger drill bit. So I'll drill this out. Perfect. Next. Perfect. There it is. So now that's off. We can pull the vent out. Now to pull the vent out, we got to turn it. And there's a notch in the bottom. You got to line it up to right there. And then she should pull right out. Just like that. There you go. So that vent's off. So now there's a screw up here we'll take out just to give us a little bit more play. You probably get away with not taking out. You might as well take it out if you can. I said if you can, Captain. Oh, it's coming. She's only been in there for a few years. There you go. So now you can actually take this and spread it apart a little bit. So this piece here comes off and how that comes off is in here, there's little bend tabs you pull off. So what you wanna do is you wanna just grab yourself one of these or a pick tool get it wedged bend it 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 and get it wedged and then bend it and then that piece should come right out of there or jim or whoever you want to be called there you go so that's out now you want to pull this rubber out which is it can be easy and hard all at the same time it all depends how you feel that day so you want to get a hold of it maybe with a one of these tools again because this this rubber is friggin brittle there's nothing left of her, Jim. Wah. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at it. She's brand new. Come. You know what's nice about my videos? Every single one I do, they're always hard and cocked over. So I give you the extreme what can happen when you're doing stuff like this. Because I never get something easy. It's always hard. Friggin' right it is. So we get this out. We get this started. And then we can just probably walk it right out with a pick tool. Slowly, but surely. Oh, we got ourselves a screw in that one, Jim. Is it a screw? Oh, it's a broke off screw. That's the right frick. Oh, I can't see it. Man, she's wore out. We're gonna have to maybe take that one off and put a new one in there. Careful! Holy. Careful, I said. Okay, we'll worry about that when we get the rubber out. So we'll just keep working away at this rubber until it comes out all the way. Almost need a knife. Oh, man. That rubber is definitely rotten hopefully hopefully the other one's not that bad probably is though I mean, wouldn't it be right this is why you get paid the big bucks just so you know if anybody's doing these i wouldn't charge any less than 200 dollars to do it any less this one's gonna be hard well not hard just time consuming they're not really hard unless you know you suffer worse in carpal tunnel than i do that is really hard careful oh there's a chunk yeah, there's a chunk. Oh, uh, yeah, something's happening. We're getting her, Jim. Oh, yeah. How you doing? We have a little bend here we got to take out. Maybe. Ooh. That bend's in there, Jim. She's been there a minute. All right, so now we got that piece out. Now we got to work on this piece, which I said shouldn't be too bad. It's time consuming. Tell you if you watched my last video there when I was at Trevor's and we did that windshield and back glass in that El Camino but that's what this is out of is that yellow El Camino like I said she's been a minute since this poor girl's had some maintenance on these windows I'll tell you oh, man roll her out Jim 
Bettner. Slowly but surely. Ooh. Ooh, eh? Careful. Getting bits and pieces all over the place. Careful. Where in the frick? Is my pliers gone? Oh, here they are. It's a pretty big chunk of old rubber in the corner here. We gotta break up so we can get some leverage on her. There we go. Oh, yeah. How you doing? We're almost there. Got him. Are we there yet? Pretty much. Okay, there's that. Can I see chunks left in here? One, two. Can't believe that's a friggin'. Somebody's literally put a self tapper in there and then cut it off with a disc grinder. That's exactly what happened. That's dickered. All right, that's off. Let's get rid of this shit. We're we going any further. Okay, there we go. Joel. Actually, before anybody asks me, there's a part number for this rubber. VWR121068. Chevy, El Camino, Chevelle, and a few other things. Monte Carlo, I think. They're all pretty close, so just have an eye. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. We got to get this thing out. I'll be right back. All right, so we got that out, as you can tell. We've cleaned this up a little bit. There's a dent there, but I'm not going to do much with it. Other than that, we got it pretty much out. So, what we want to do next is you want to get the new rubber and figure out which way it goes. Yep, that looks good right there, Captain. Perfect. And then what you want to do is you want to start the bottom corner, because it's the hardest one, and then you want to get the top corner lined up and then work your way across. So what you want to do is you want to get some yourself 303. If you want to go to Gold Glass Accessories, you pick yourself up some of that. You give it a squirt in here, give it a squirt in here, and you get this corner started. Now to get the corner started, it's going to be hard for me to film this. There's two lips on it that go into the channel. So what you want to do is you want to massage it and get it started into the channel. That's why you want lube, Jube. So you get it started, you rub it in, and you get yourself a bone, what they call them. I call it a bone. It's called a cartilage stick or whatever you want to call it. Plastic stick. And you get it started into the groove. And then you flip it over like so. And then you get it started on this side like that. See? And then what you want to do is you want to pull it. Not too far, just a little bit. Have a look at it again. Yep, that looks good. Yep, that's seated. Just make sure it's seated. And then you want to uh, try to get one side in all the way across, and then you want to bone the rest in. So if you look on this side, you just push that little groove in, and you walk it all the way across. It's gonna be a little tight right here because this is where the dent is. But we'll get her. Don't you worry. Maybe. Maybe you need some more lube. Jube. Never leave the lube out. Captain, my hands are acting up. Big time. Well, that's already in. Okay, so it wants to go in that way. So let's just not fight it. Good. Ooh, how you doing? So there you go, that side's in. Just check the other side. It's locked. Yeah, we're on that side too, so that's good. Yep, we got her all the way, so we're good there. So now what you want to do is you want to work yourself up to the top corner. So what I do is I stretch it to the top corner, and there is a little groove right there in the rubber that hooks on the edge, so it knows where it wants to sit. So right about, actually, let's go this way, right about there. Tuck her in. There you go. Now that will hold the top up for you. And you just walk her in all the way. Keep walking her. So it's like walking a dog, Jim. Get her done. Oh, hold on, we're not in the bottom one. There we go. It's always easy if you get one side in first. There we go. Keep going. Add more. There we go. That's in. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, we gotta get in here. There we go. Yep. Check the other side. Oh, we got a little bit out right here. Get it in. There you go. So now that's in. So there's the new rubber mounted. Oh, hold on, there's a little bit right here. Like I said, just keep going over it. Make sure you don't forget any little lips sticking out. There. So now, all we got left to do is put this piece back on. So this piece goes in this way. So when it shuts... No, this piece goes in this way. So when it shuts... Hold on a second here. Out in this way. Yes. So this piece goes in this way. So when it shuts, it seals her up, Captain. 
Now these can be a little bit of a rascal getting in too, so don't feel bad if you, you know, it takes you a few minutes. They're not too bad once they get started. There we go, we got it started. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take anything you can friggin' take. And there's little tabs on here that you've seen that it took off. But now you wanna bend them back over. Oh, careful. This is the outside, so yes, it flaps in, okay. Sometimes you gotta stop and think for a minute. You don't wanna do things twice, because I do things twice constantly, as you know. I always do things twice. Frig. Oh, come on. She's a raffle, she is. I don't know if it's being a wrestler or if it's just because I'm wore out right now. I'm gonna say it's because of my hands are sore. One. What the f am I hooked on? Two. I found the sweet spot. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ah, we got it. There you go. So now that we're done that, we can throw the screw back in the top right here, like so. Oh, don't you dare lose that thing. Oh, my eyes are getting bad, man. Like I said, it's gonna fight me all the way. Why wouldn't it? It's how things like me. That did get bent a little bit, probably from me wedging on it. There she is. Okay. Not okay. Okay. I hope the time. Slide that in. There you go. Now we'll slide the window back in, which goes like um, this. So we gotta go this way, I think. Hold on. You gotta think about this for a minute because sometimes it can really trick your brain hole. I think it goes this, oh, we need some lube. Hold on a minute. Slide this back in the hole, like so. That. Turn it to where it goes through. Push it in, turn it again. Slap that on here. Get out some rivets. Line this thing back up. Hold on a minute. Frig. I said line this thing back up. It slid back out. There we go. Okay, line this thing back up, like so. Stick your rivets in, find the hole. There it is. Give it a squeeze. One, two. Shut her up and let the seals take over, Jim. And there you go. That's all there is to doing the vent glasses. Now let's do the other one. Here's a new seal. There we go. Decent. That's not too bad of a job. Takes you about, oh, if you know what you're doing, it takes you about 30 minutes aside, maybe. Maybe a little longer. But remember, just take your time. There's no rush on doing them. And if somebody's in a rush for them, they can take them somewhere else. Friggin' right. Remember that, Jim. Here's a quick 200 bucks or so. We'll get that fixed up. We'll get that put back. And leave a comment down below if you want to watch me put them back in. I'll take the camera with me. Because we got to reinstall them some night this week or next week or this weekend or whenever. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I appreciate it. And until the next one, we'll see you then.